So I'm getting loaded up this evening. I'm gonna take the bush hog off the tractor. I got a very simple little driveway job to do in the morning. I'm just gonna use the tractor with the box blade. I've only got to spread about one dump truck load of gravel over a driveway. So it'll just be simple enough to use the tractor and not have to deal with bringing the skid steer home and taking it over there. So I'm gonna take the bush hog off and put the box blade on. Let's go to work. I don't get look at you out here with your white driving gloves on, truck driver. <laughs> you gonna come work with your darn white mittens on this morning. <laughs> don't want that steering wheel to get cold in that truck, do you? <laughs> hey, I got a whole pack of them. I'll just get me a fresh. Okay, I need a pair so I fit in around here. I like that. <laughs> Well, here's the little driveway. We're going to rake the leaves off of it, grade it out a little bit, and put some new gravel down. With that tree right there, we're just going to dump it all in a pile, and I'll just drag it around and spread it out. Dump half here and half down here, down there.
That's it. All right, let's see how well this is gonna work. Like I said, it ain't, let me go ahead and put this thing in four wheel drive so it's just not spinning so bad. All we're trying to do is just freshen this up. It's got a good base, even though it looks like a lot of mud. It's got a good solid base. And just trying to get rid of that kind of little bit of mud on top. it better this way than using the box blade because it just it's hard to control a good even spread it's either uh, a whole box blades worth or you're getting like nothing Turn around. 
you back up when I get a little closer to being done. Should be about all done. He made a little turnaround right here. All the way up to the road. We get loaded up and get out of here. I think it turned out nice. All right. Up on the trailer we go. About right there, I think. Oh, I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Right there. All right, let's go drop this off, and guess what? We got more work to go do. Let's get this unloaded and get loaded up for our next job. So somebody commented about the ramp. How? Uh, yeah, I know the license plate's still wrong. Um, these are actually floating ramps on this trailer and I hate them because if you load something heavy it, it all it does is these like pivot and uh, they're supposed to lock in place somehow but the way that I have it hooked up to the trailer so that it's level they don't go down far enough and when you load something heavy it pushes the back of the trailer down and picks the, the back of the, the uh, truck off the ground and if it ain't flat you'll go forward or backwards so I had a friend of mine he was here one day with a welder I was like let's just practice and we welded this one uh, right here so that it's solid because these are lay flat ramps they're supposed to lay down flat and when you weld them up like that I, I like the ramps standing up so I had bars made um, but I didn't know if I'd like it or not so I only did one and I liked it so now I got to get this one welded um, so that it's stiff and when you load up here you'll notice that this side of the trailer will kind of push down uh, because that's actually being supported and the baby cows are eating all my fresh grass baby moo moos you enjoying all that fresh green grass Y'all aren't supposed to be over here yet. Babies. August. <laughs> oh. Hey. Alright. Let me get unloaded.